morning, folks. Welcome back. It's John Pettypaw. It's three minutes past 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday morning. Beautiful new day, the eighth day of November. And I just get a wonderful compliment from neighbor going for his morning walk. I was checking on Lucky Ann Oil, wonderful new chicken in the hen house and seeing how she was doing. And he said, you're all dressed up, John, this morning like a Protestant preacher. I says, Frankie, thank you very much. I, I love the Protestants. My mother's side family, there's a, there's a Presbyterian minister in Lynch, and I, I, have a special, I have a special place in my heart for the fundamentalist. I, I love the people that preach the Bible, inspired word of God, or Savior and Redeemer. So it was the best compliment a guy could get to start the week here. You're all dressed up like a Protestant preacher. I want to give a, a shout out here to our wonderful dear friend, Don of the beautiful coastal coal mining community of New Waterford and Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. And one of my newest subscribers and a very valued and appreciated subscriber. Wonderful, wonderful lady, young lady in New Waterford, Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. Now, this morning, I want to wish, I'm doing it a couple of days early because Remembrance Day is coming up, Mr. Edward Dempster. Mr. Edward Dempster, and he's like Dempster's Donuts. He's just a he's a he's a top-notch fella. Edward Dempster is going to be 78 years young on the 10th day of November. It's wonderful. My birthday's on the 10th. It's the 10th of December. So he was born. Ed, you're you're one month ahead of me on the calendar. That is pretty damn good. Nothing wrong with that there. A great all together. And it taken. He was born on November the 10th of 1943. So you heard of a war bride? Well, he was a war baby. And he is a wonderful gentleman. He takes and he's a, uh, I knew him through the Benoit's and the, his, uh, his wife, Sharon, fantastic lady in her own right, her sister married Donnie Benoit. So they, they both married well. Sh Sharon married Ed and Donna married Donnie, so D.D. Donna married Donna, and, and Ed married Sharon. So they, both those gentlemen, distinguished gentlemen, married well. And just, they're fantastic people. I'm back to Ed for a second here. Ed is a, actually, he's a, he's a city firefighter for 38 years. He's a, a lifelong firefighter. There's a special place in my heart, too, for firefighters. They're, they're there, they're front line, and they're there all circumstances. What what we do ever do without them? He takes 38 years. He was a uh, firefighter in Southern Ontario, and he then was a volunteer firefighter for five, ten, then oh, two, three, three more on top of ten, thirteen years. So he's a 51 years of service as a firefighter. We salute him, just like the soldiers, the firefighters, and coal miners, right up there. We salute you, kind sir, and. Ed, distinguished gentleman he is, he takes and he's a very, very good guy. Both of them. Uh, I, I should explain, by the way, that his wife, this is why I got, you wonder why I have the Webster's Dictionary in my desk? I put it in plastic bags so kitty cat doesn't claw at it. Here we have, this is the Webster's Dictionary. Well, uh, Ed's lovely wife, Sharon, and his brother, their brother-in-law, Donnie Benoit's late wonderful wife, his equally wonderful wife, late Donnie Benoit. They're both those girls' maiden name were Webster's. And if you go back in genealogy, the Webster's are direct descendant of the Webster's dictionary. Got that? The Webster's family, the Webster girls, are direct descendant of the beautiful, famous Webster's dictionary. You. You hear an expression on Visa? Don't leave home without Visa card. Well, don't don't be writing off as a, a writing letter without have the beautiful handy. It's the Webster's Pocket Dictionary, and I've had it for a while. This Webster's Dictionary costs a dollar twenty-five. That's a bargain. They, so Ed and Sharon, I've got to meet them through Sharon's late sister, lovely Donna. Don was a great cook, generous for cooking, and wonderful lady and right too. But both, both these extraordinary people, both of them, I had a note here, they're both very kind and generous people. They come down, they're, we, they come down to visit Donnie, they drop in to see me, and they know everybody. They're, they're just, a, 
They're top-notch fine folks. And the world could use more people. Actually, there's a lot of good people in the world, but they're, they stand as extraordinary. The world, I'm going to conclude by saying, the world could use more great folks like Ed and Sharon Dempster. And Dempster, by the way, we've had, I don't know if Ed knows this, but there's a famous donut company in New Brunswick, our neighboring province. I'm in Nova Scotia here, province of Nova Scotia. Well, neighboring province in New Brunswick, there's the famous... Dempster Donuts, and they're made in Sussex, and they make nuggets, and they make the donuts, and they crunchy donuts, and old-fashioned plain sugar, and so on. They, a Dempster Donut Company on Ed's side, and on what lovely wife Sharon's side, direct descendant of Webster's Dictionary. So I want to wish you, sir, a very happy, peaceful this Wednesday, two days from today, this video will be uploaded later today. Very happy, peaceful, wonderful 78th birthday on Wednesday, the 10th day of November. And as I, I'm going to include as I sign my cards off, I always put, I always sign the cards off, and many, many more. And I close my video with all the best, God bless, share the video far and wide, press the subscribe button. And wish Mr. Ed Dempster of Southern Ontario happy 78th birthday. Thank you. Bye for now.